all sent in thousands of entries telling us about your favorite spots around the country. Well, we whittled them down to just 10 breathtaking, mysterious, magical places that capture your hearts. And I got the first two. They are places that are near and dear to mine. So let's begin the journey. once said of this place, a man may stand here and put all of America behind him. And when GMA viewer Gary Acabo sent us this sunset picture, describing it as one of the most breathtaking visions to witness, we knew we had to see it for ourselves. This is Cape Cod. Buckle up, my friend. Come on, guys. You ready? My family's journey starts on the easternmost tip of Massachusetts. From marsh to bay to ocean, you never know what you'll encounter on the Cape. It is the summertime favorite of the Kennedy clan. Their family compound is in Hyannisport, where there is also a museum dedicated to their Cape Cod legacy. It was JFK, after all, who 50 years ago this year created the law which ensured these 44,000 ocean acres would remain pristine and protected forever. Next up, a short, magnificent boat ride away is your other most beautiful place. This is Newport, Rhode Island. It is called the sailing capital of the world, home to the America's Cup and some of the most breathtaking views you will ever see. GMA viewer Lisa Jaslowski sent us this picture, writing, The bright sky against the calm blue water takes me back to the beauty of my honeymoon. I know it's what's kept my own family coming back every summer for the last 10 years. This is my favorite place because it's not just about going to the beach. Believe me, they are great, but it's also about the history. There are houses here dating back to the late 1600s. From the simplicity of colonial times to the grandeur of the Gilded Age, the Vanderbilts, the Astors, the Dukes, just a few of the mega rich who made Newport their summer playground, building mammoth second homes that were used for just 10 weeks a year. Can you believe they actually called these their cottages? Why so big? Well, why so big? Because that way you could trump someone who's next door to you. I mean, they really like this more is more philosophy. Our next stop, the casino, built in 1891 and now known as the International Tennis Hall of Fame. It was the birthplace of the U.S. Open. I need some tips. This is the first time playing on grass. Are you ready for the ball to die? You go out on the court, it's not going to bounce at all. All right, here we go. There's something so amazing about playing on this court. Just a few days ago, Andre Agassi was here, and now... I'm defiling it. <laughs> yes! On that note, I, I know when to quit while I'm ahead. Time to eat like a champion on the wharf at 22 Bowens. If you try nothing else while you're in Newport, you've got to order the clam chowder. It is the soup that eats like a meal. <laughs> Add in a little fresh lobster and some Rhode Island style calamari and you've got yourself a Newport feast. Ta-da! Who wants it? Oh, hello! This is where Newport comes to relax. It's called Castle Hill. It's a former mansion, now a luxury hotel. But anybody is invited to come down, grab an Adirondack chair, a little champagne, and toast the sunset. It is a Newport tradition. That's good, Kate! That's what's great about Newport. It's relaxing, but it's also exciting. It's about discovery. It's about history. It really is one of my favorite places. And no trip to Newport is complete without a sunset cruise. Oh. This isn't just any 12-meter sailboat. This is an America's Cup champion, also a favorite of JFK's. And Ted Kennedy used to sail on her quite often. Not too shabby. Weatherly won the cup in 1962. And today, she's available for chartered sales with Captain George Hill. We're seeing a gorgeous sunset. Will you share with our viewers the Thanks. magical saying? Pink skies at night, sailors delight. Pink skies in the morning, sailors take warning. But there is no warning for me when my kids decide it's time to crack mom up. <laughs> one, new part, two, one. <laughs> Kate, is this one of America's most beautiful places? <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> Whose child is this? <laughs> they are giddy, and you will be too. Whether you're an athlete, a history buff, a romantic, or a foodie, it's easy to see why Cape Cod and Newport are two of your most beautiful places. <laughs> so, for the 
Yeah. There you have it. Our you, first two. Your kids. That's, yeah. that's for sure. <laughs> Very clear. Yeah. But in, in the looks or the naughtiness? Well, yes. Exactly. <laughs> oh, yes. All right. So that was just two, but we have more places to show you. I'm going to read you guys the list. Get ready. Asheville, North Carolina, Aspen, Colorado, Destin, Florida, Grand Tetons, Jackson Hole, Wyoming, Lanakai Beach, did I say that correctly? Yes, good. Oahu, Hawaii, Point Reyes, California, yes. <laughs> Sedona, Arizona, and Sleeping Bear Dunes, Michigan. We want you guys to vote on your favorite place. We all have our thoughts on it. So check out all the places we visited on abcnews.com slash GMA. Then vote for your favorite on our website or use the GMA app on your smartphone. And we will announce the winner of your most beautiful place next week. And tomorrow, Josh, you're up. Where are you going? Um, I'm not going to tell you. But it's a familiar place. You're doing that me. whole trick that oh, I did. Yes. China. Uh, it rhymes with California. <laughs> <laughs>